Hi, and welcome to my studio, my art studio, where I make upcycling in painting. I use old jewelry and other things to create art. This is me in 2019, and this is me in 2021 uh, when I'm making this video. It's actually late 2021 when I'm making this. This is one of my newer projects where I decided that I would let the jewelry um, remain unpainted. So I'm using the colors that I have access to to create the image that I want to make. More often than not, I like to use the jewelry to create a design and a texture and uh, then I'll paint over it white and use my own coloring. But this time I wanted to do something different and let the jewelry speak for itself and uh, see what I could come up with. It's a little bit more challenging, but I never back off of a challenge. But I wanted to use up a lot of my jewelry, a lot of my necklaces, especially the bead necklaces, and um, see if I could make a landscape. But there were just too many black necklaces and it was going to make it too dark. Seems that a lot of black necklaces get tossed uh, sooner or later. I had more black than any other color. So I had to think of something new. Instead of a more quote unquote realistic type of landscape, I decided to become more stylized in my design and I began to have fun with this one. As it turns out, I had to do several different uh, attempts. The shell necklaces were a little bit too stiff to, uh, for me to be able to conform them to the, the uh, shapes I wanted them to conform to. So I had to take them all apart and that was kind of fun. But I did feel sorry for the people who spent a lot of time making them. I can tell you one issue with um, shell necklaces is that they catch on any knitted garment. Uh, so very inconvenient for someone living in Canada wearing a shell necklace unless, of course, it's only in the summer. They are a lot of fun to play with. And as you can see, I found quite a few different color variations and sorted them as per their color. That came in very handy later on. A little shovel would be helpful. I think I have one here. I decided to play a little with a real-time video that I had taken of this project and I sped it up fast and then I slowed it down really slow. It was kind of fun.
see how that goes. After the shelves were cleaned up, I put the board vertical, yeah, vertical on the wall so that I could paint an underground because I'd had another idea. And turns out I wanted some more trees. A little bit of sketching, my ideas. Not that that worked. Not that that works all the time. A sketch with a pencil turns out very different when you start painting with jewelry. So you kind of have to go with the flow, which I was doing. If my necklaces were this long, then that's how big that became that tree became experimenting with chains and once I liked it I glued it down I'm making a little live video because I've I've already put glue on on these things and let them dry for uh, a whole day maybe a day and a half and uh, there's some little bits of glue still needing to dry that one's pretty good but over here and this one okay. this one there's some glue still waiting to be um, dried up anyway um, I had the video I thought I had the video time-lapse on the whole time I was putting glue on these but when I looked I found that there was no gluing video so um, I don't have one too bad but that's why I'm doing this anyway so next I'm going to start with the shells shells and shadows bye bye here I have my shells all ready just like paint in containers to uh, apply to my canvas I thought I start by using shells for the trunks and the shadows and um, that didn't turn out working too well that, but you have to do it to know that you don't want it if you, if you never did it wrong you'd never learn what was right I don't mean that as a lesson in life uh -huh. you don't want to keep doing things wrong in life because you can learn from people in books and talking about a lesson in art making and experimenting because this is all experimental I haven't seen anyone do this before that's why I kind of like it it's a long process but I enjoy the peacefulness of it I enjoy listening to things while I'm doing it and I really enjoy the experimentation to see what works and what doesn't work. Um, now we can just watch me as I play with the shells and see what, uh, what happens. I'm trying to bring things forward or push things back in the background, um, trying to cause depth in the painting.
about those blue stones you'll see me moving around here and there and everywhere. I just didn't know where they would end up, but I did really like them. And I liked the background showing through them a little bit. They were the, almost the same color, but um, anyway, they were a little bit of a, of a, uh, of a challenge to find out where they actually wanted to belong. I had found them in a bag, just a bag full of glass stones in a secondhand store and had them for years until they finally found a home. Now they have a home. Yay. Yeah, my iPhone falls at least once during every project that I make. I run into it or I don't clip it uh, uh, well enough or I, uh, because I keep on having to move my camera, the piece is so long that I don't want to angle the view so severely to get it all in there. There I go, moving those stones again, the glass, the glass stones, and I'm continually getting back into the lower shell section to make sure every shell is where I want it to be. But it's uh, at about this time that I decide before anything happens to my board and the provo proverbial cat comes in and jumps on it, uh, I better glue them down. So I get my uh, varnish, my bottle of varnish out. I'm using varnish because it's very thin and won't push the pieces somewhere where I don't want them to go. So it's uh, it'll help to tack everything down uh, nicely. Um, it's better than white glue or anything other, other any other glue that's thicker um, at this point. Anyway, that's what I'm using currently on this piece. Sometimes I'll use thick glue like E6000 when I really need something to stick down. Um, but the varnish seemed to be what was working for now. And now I'm forcefully arranging my clear beads into a seemingly random order. It's funny how when you just throw them down ran randomly, they never look random to kind of force them into that, that randomness. So finally, I am applying a final overall clear coat, again, of fairly thin varnish. Um, forget exactly what I was using uh, for overall, but most glues are okay, uh, just as long as they clear, dry clearly. Uh, and this just took a long time to dry because I suspect it was a humid summer while it was uh, while I was working on it. Anyway, um, before it's fully dry, I'm taking the Coroplast uh, frame off of it. I put that on so that the glue wouldn't drip down on the floor or the table. I've had that happen before. Anyway, um, and now you'll see the final result. <laughs> 